So we are going to know about the EDI interfaces, nothing but an IDOC. Okay. So generally, what is an IDOC? IDOC is just a data container to move the data from one place to another place or transfer data from one place to another place. In the place, in the sense, the one storage location to another storage location, I have one server path to another path. So how it was mapping? So it was mapping through some uh, message types, ports, like so. All, all technical team will done this. So what are the requirements you need? So you need to give the requirement to the ABAPA teams or technical teams. So they will do the configuration and so what are the file format? How the data need? So that you need to set by the PI team. They set the path and how specific uh, the data structure you need either what is the format you need that you need to contain with the pi team okay, generally what is the idoc so idoc is just a data container or data folder it sends or transfer one place to another place right so for example output files like uh, if you execute any uh, report like like uh, fb51 mb51 so material material issue material or uh, uh, fb60 invoices from uh, outside outside invoices you need to enter in the sap so it is through idoc you can do it so there are two types of idocs that we we can see so i was doing uh, normally customer invoices it is an outside system to sap so uh, i'm getting the invoices but generally i'm getting the invoices with the PDF files, PDF format. They do, they enter in Excel. So we are uploading. So it is a big process. So if they contain the IDOC, they are setting, they set up an IDOC from that place. It directly to come comes into the SAP. And there are two types of IDOCs. One is inbound and outbound. So inbound IDOCs is from non-SAP to SAP. So for example, they are using uh, ERP system or any Oracle system from Oracle system to they're sending that data to SAP, SAP system. So we all data we capture in SAP and the outbound data. So we are sending from SAP system to non SAP system from, uh, for example, we are SAP ERP to Oracle system. So how data stores in SAP through IDOCs, right? So there are three ways. Each IDOC contains three data. One is control data and data record and status record, right? So what generally the uh, con uh, control rec uh, record contains? The generally control record contains the general information of the sender or identification of a sender or receiver in the IDOC type. See, this is a below screen. So type partner, technical, address, these contains the general information of a sender or receiver, right? This is not, this is a not big challenge. And the data record. So data record, it is an actual data capture from this record. So, so how data is stored in this record? So they are defining the specific segment names and specific segment numbers. So with this, the data is actually stores. So if you execute this segment, in this segment, what type of data it actually captured, we can see with the field names and the count. Okay, field counts. Same way, how many segments it was defined, we can see easily by clicking the segment name. So it, it automatically show with the arrow mark. So all data, so what and all data you are sending. So it actually shows in the data record. And the status record shows the status of the IDOC. Either it is succeeded, or it is failed, or what is the status? If it is a 53, it is a success status. So if it is a 51, it is an error. We can see the error by the status. So in the what is the error? In the, uh, we can see the error in the data record itself. It contains it the highlighted red color. And status, we can see in the status record by giving the hint of it double click on the status record, the 53, it goes through analysis. So you can see clearly the analysis, the error message. So now we can see the tables of uh, IDOCs. The control record, the stores normally, the table name is EDIDC. EDIDC, right? There is no space between. So if you execute it, if you execute it, 
which it actually it actually take through sorry it, it can't it's error so normally where we execute the idocs so this is the one we can execute right so slash we can see in x16 or x16n so both are same but the view is different see this is the one shows with a message type you can select the selection criteria as well field selection see what are the what and all the selection criteria you need so for example you don't have a idoc number you have a idoc type or you have a uh, message type you have any output mode or any any if you want uh, apart from the idoc number you can select and you can execute it so i don't have anything in the demo mode so that's why i i can't able to show the idoc numbers so if i execute empty so i don't have anything okay so this is contains all the data so when it is useful to use this data tables so i can tell you an entire thing then we'll talk about this so data record so data record contains the actual data of an application okay so how it is stored in the data record with a segment name and a segment number so it is a respective segment number so we can see the data right so let's see in the table view so this is the thing is a data uh, data record the table edi d4 okay control the uh, data record store the information in the respective table the name table name is edi d4 so here we can select the specific partner type and partner number and message variant and logical message type so what type of because we don't have most of the cases if have any issues with the business so that time how we are going to execute this so for example i got an issue so i need to find out the respective deliveries with the respective idoc numbers inbound deliveries i have inbound deliveries but i don't have idoc numbers so i have uh, but uh, the idocs are not executing in the sap system so i need to be executed i need to figure it out so what are the idocs in the system right so i i i done i was done to so message variant and logical message type and a partner partner number and the partner type so i was executed so and i need to give if it is a blank it no it no need of issue okay so execute i was executed so so i don't have anything so that's why it is not showing that's why so if it have a it, it definitely show right so there is there is a segments the different different segments the how data is stored we can say it and the status record status records contain the status of an idoc either is passed or failure so it depends on the idoc status number we can get to know so how it was it and main purpose of this idoc status in the table level so in the idoc status table name is edids so s indicates the status so we can easily uh, keep it mind it edi ds is ss indicates the status record oh, edi d4 d4 indicates the data record and control record indicates c edi dc so we can easily remember so so in status record so i have a list of errors i don't care errors so i wanted to see so how it is showing so i need to go and execute each and every idocs and i need to uh, give a list of idocs numbers i need to execute it right so by giving a one by one one by one one by one so we can see it list of idoc issues and the status in the idoc status so how it showing for example i have an issue with posting period issue posting only possible Possible two zero one eight ten 
two zero one eight nine because it show previous month so it isn't related to material management point of view okay the idoc has been failed due to this issue so i how with the status table shows so posting visible period so this is the parameter 1 it shows in the parameter 1 in the parameter 2 the parameter 2 so the remaining the numbers so how it was defined so that it will show in the parameters different different parameters hope you understand i hope you uh, enjoy the video